Hi, I'm Rachel and I am a host mom for Au Pairs. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, this is the second video I've made so far and I hope to make many more. Uh, the purpose of this video is aimed toward people who are interested in having Au Pairs and also Au Pair candidates. Um, I found that there's many videos out there from Au Pairs about their experience, but not very many from host families. So I hope this video is helpful to you. Uh, if you are a family and interested in, in becoming an au pair family, host family, uh, and you do not have someone that is a referral for you, please consider using one of my referral codes. I'll have them listed below in the, um, in the video description box. Um, but please, if you know someone else that you can refer, please use your friends or family, but don't let that referral go to waste if you don't. We have had four au pairs to date and are getting ready for our fifth au pair. We have alternated between two different agencies and have considered a third but did not um, utilize them. And today I'd like to talk about program fees. Uh, you will find that most agencies are about the same cost. So really there's not a gross difference in the bottom uh, price that you're going to pay. Um, the, the fees are split up into two different sections. There's fees that you pay directly to the agency and there's fees that you pay to the au pairs. And so the agency fees uh, include things like the agency fees, transportation fees, which include um, airfare for the au pair. Uh, those fees include things like um, the, um, the, the visa costs, the um, academy that the au pairs attend, um, and any type of background check, those sorts of things. And so that's all lumped together in the agency fees. And those come out for most agencies. Now, this changes and has gone up over time, obviously, uh, but this comes out to be about $10,000 a year. Um, this does qualify for the uh, flexible spending account. So if you have an employer that uh, you can put money in each year to a flexible spending account, this does qualify to be used for that. Also, you can use some childcare education type credits uh, on taxes for this. I am not an accountant, uh, so please talk to your accountant or your CPA for more information. But these, these agencies do have tax IDs and do qualify for child care education type credits. Um, the other cost that goes with this is the au pair amount that goes to the au pair. And this includes a weekly stipend for their work where the au pairs get paid $195.75 a week. And that is a federally determined amount. Now here's one thing I will say quickly on that. Um, this is an amount that's a bare minimum. I will be completely honest with most au pairs and tell them that that is what most families pay. But with the recent um, court cases that have come out, uh, there have been questions surrounding this about minimum wage and those sorts of things. To date, most states, there are some exceptions, do not have to pay minimum wage because they feel that room and board, when you consider how much, if you were to have an apartment or a car or a phone or those kind of things would come out to be, it's pretty, pretty equivocal. Um, it did leave room for the um, au pairs to negotiate a higher amount. So maybe you live in an area where the living expenses are more. Um, but I will tell you that most families I know, this is what they pay every week to the au pair, just so that you guys have full transparency on, on what that cost is. Um, and the au pairs do have to pay taxes on that money. So that's another thing that's kind of interesting and unique. Again, this is a federal program. In addition to that weekly stipend, um, they also get $500 a year to go toward their education expenses. Um, you know, it just depends on the area you live, if you can find that. When we lived in Denver, there were so many options for education for the au pairs there, it wasn't a problem. We currently live in Louisville, Kentucky, and there's not as many options. So it's a little bit more expensive for the au pairs. So we do help them to be able to meet that educational requirement. So those are some of the published costs that you will find on the agency websites 
Most of them are pretty similar across the board, as I mentioned. Um, and, and those come out to be what they estimate to be about $20,000 a year, give or take some. And again, it's gonna change every year. So just know that that number is fluid. Um, the other cost that's really important to understand about these programs is that there's hidden fees associated with them. The hidden fees are just things that are um, everyday living items for the au pair that it is expected and sh I personally think should be paid for by the family, but this is all negotiable uh, when you're interviewing with your family to talk to them about. Well, one thing that's not negotiable is board um, and that would include things like food right so you can't just buy a loaf of bread for your au pair and some lunch meat and think that you've bought food for them for the week that whole definition of what an au pair is and being equal to that really should carry over to the food that you buy them as well i'm not saying you need to go buy them elaborate food like steak and you know lobster but you really should allow them to have food options equal to or on par with what you would want to eat or what they want to eat. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, a cell phone is another hidden cost that the agencies don't talk about. It's not a requirement federally like the board, but we feel like it is imperative for safety reasons um, for our peers to have a cell phone. Now, we typically use a cell phone because we have a lot of them just lying around. Uh, so it's not like you have to go out and buy a new iPhone and give them that but um, we just have an old cell phone and we add them to our family plan and it costs somewhere between 20 and 40 dollars a month so that's something to consider um, the child care that you will need to provide during their two weeks of vacation and as i mentioned you have some say into when this occurs so it could be that you have your au pair take vacation when you are scheduled to take your family vacation um, but maybe you want them to come with you on your family vacation and work so that means that they would need to take vacation another time. And they get two weeks of vacation a year, and you guys can determine how you split that up, whether it's a full week at a time, whether it's days here and there, but just know that you'll need backup childcare during that time. Uh, you know, we do buy gifts for our pairs. They are our family. If I would buy a gift for my family, I need to expect that they are my family and I'm going to buy them gifts. And we typically buy them um, Christmas presents, if there's a birthday, you know, if something big happens, we include them as a member of our family. If we would traditionally buy a gift, then we get them a gift. So again, those are just some, it's not an exhaustive list, but just some of the things to consider that there are some costs that the agency doesn't advertise that you need to be um, mindful of that, that would be coming. The other thing I want to tell families is that it seems expensive, um, but there are costs that the au pairs pay. Um, they pay a good amount of money to do this program. And so it's not free for them. And so just be mindful of that. And it's not always clear from the agencies who's paying for what. Um, the agency will tell you that you're paying for something. They'll tell the au pair they're paying for something and it kind of sometimes there's overlap and I've asked for transparency from the agencies and really haven't gotten anywhere with that. So um, they really are invested in this program because of the financial uh, amount that they pay into it. So keep that in mind and be respectful of that when you are um, making arrangements with them. Well, that's about all I have for the costs on the program. Um, please leave comments below if you have additional questions, um, and I will try to address them in other videos. Uh, please give a thumbs up and like these videos. Uh, it'll help um, YouTube to uh, show them to more potential families and potential au pairs. Um, I will focus on some other topics next time, like um, more specifics about au pair agencies, I will also talk about um, the things that we look for in au pairs, the interview process, what to expect when an au pair comes into your family. So these will all be future videos and I hope you tune in again. Don't forget to check out my last video, um, which is the first video that I made and I hope to see you again. My au pair told me I should go but that's not me. <laughs> My au pairs are helping me with this. So I think that that is really great because they too feel like there needs to be more content from host families um, on this program, on their experience. 